Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to go to File, Open. We're going to bring in some audio. I'll do this more jazz guitar. It's a WAV file. And I'm going to show you how to use cut, copy, and paste and move sections of your audio around. So let's just play this and listen to see what we have here. So just an audio recording of some uh, acoustic guitar. So let's say I, I really only want, I really like this part. If I left click here and, and play from here, I really like what it sounds like here. But I, didn't, I don't want this intro part. So we know we've learned in the past tutorial, we can left click and keep our left click down and select by moving. So we can select this part and just hit the delete key if we want to get rid of it. But maybe we have some timing issues. It's like part of a video and we, we want to keep the timing intact. I can go edit, undo. We can actually just create silence for this part. We can select the whole thing. And if we hover over here, this icon says silence audio selection. If we hit this, it just creates silence there, but it doesn't actually delete it. So if we want to remove a portion of the audio without actually cutting out that section, just use this silence tool. So we can silence any part of this audio we want to, and it just creates a silent line. And then when we play that portion, it'll just be silent until it gets there. So that's how you can keep timing intact. To get that to come back, we can go edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. You can also hit the control Z on the keyboard to undo. Um, we could, let's say we, we like this portion, we just don't want it to be at the beginning. We want it to be at the end. We can select it like it was now. So select all this, and then we can go to cut. Here, the cut icon is right up here, this little pair of scissors. We can click cut, and now it goes away. So that's kind of like delete, except that it saves that section in our clipboard, and we can then paste it. So if we want to paste it at the, wherever we want to paste it, we can just click. So if we want to paste it at the end, we left click, get our playhead there, or this black line, and then we just go to paste, which is this icon of the clipboard. So click paste, now that section appears here. So now if we play at the beginning, it just starts like this, and then it plays this end part at the end. Um, we can also play it, if we wanted to play at the beginning and at the end, we can select it, and we can use the copy. So this icon here, like two pages, looks like, kind of like, we click that, and that copies. And then we can go back to the first, and hit paste again. And what paste does, you'll notice, it actually just sort of like makes a cut, and then inserts it in there. It's not going to paste over top of any of the audio ahead of it, uh, unless we wanted it to. If we want to replace, let's say we want to replace this section of audio with this clip, we just select that portion that we want to replace, uh, and then we, well, so I just want to show that we still have this in our clipboard, because when we copy, we can paste multiple times. Let's copy it again. And just so we know that we have it in our clipboard, now we can select this and go paste, and it will replace this portion. Oops, I hit copy instead. Control C also does that. And then we come over here and we can hit Control V or just the paste icon. And that will change what was there to this sound here. Now it sounds like this. If we want this to just repeat over and over again, we can select this. We go to copy or Control C on the keyboard. And then we can just click right before it and go Control V to paste. Click Control V, click Control V. Now we're going to play this section four times in a row. Uh, so go ahead and play with some of those. I think you're kind of getting the idea. I hope so. We can select and we can cut. We can select something and we can copy it. At any point, if we just click, we can paste. And if we select anything within our selection, when we go to paste, we'll get uh, deleted, basically. And then the part that we want to paste will paste over top of all this. So now that's gone, and this is pasted here instead. So play with that. Um, one more thing I want to show you. If we just want to keep a certain part of the song, if we only wanted to keep like this section right here, this short little piece, we just want that sound. We want everything else to be gone. There's an icon right here we can click on, and it's called Trim Audio Outside of Selection. If we click this, everything after goes away, everything before goes away, and we just have this. 
The only issue with doing this is it maintains the the portion of the song that it's at, so the timing. So this is being played at about 11 and a half seconds in. So it'll be a bunch of silence. If we go back to the beginning of the composition and hit play, we should have all the silence forever until it gets to over here. So to change that, we could actually use our time shift tool like we've learned. And we can come over here while time shift is selected, left click on it and move it back to the beginning where we want it to be. And now when we go to the beginning of the audio and play, it'll play properly. Otherwise, if it was over here, it'd be fine. But when we go to File and Export and save it, the, the listener or wherever we use this, it'll have a bunch of empty space at the beginning, which is not usually ideal for uh, audio. I think we're going to end this tutorial here. Go ahead and play with Cut, Copy, and Paste. Just know that you can also do it under the Edit section. You can always cut there. So if we select, make sure your selection tool is selected, we can go Edit, Cut, and then we can go Edit, uh, Paste. So there's three ways to do it really. The icons here, using the edit menu, then also the, the, the shortcut keys, control X, control V to paste, and control C to copy. I'm just hitting control V over and over again to paste all these different sections. Hope you found this video informative. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have, and I hope to see you on the next video.